These sounds of our jet age are familiar ones. To people living near airports where the big jets take off and land, the noise levels range from annoying to nearly intolerable. NASA has been working on the problem of reducing jet aircraft noise for several years. Solutions, while not easy, are inevitable. Quiet jet engine research is being conducted jointly by government industry teams. For example, the Boeing company under contract to NASA is looking at two separate ways to reduce noise levels. Since the high frequency whine generated by a jet engine is the most irritating, studies have been concentrated in this area. A standard production engine being used today looks like this. Here are engines treated with 338 square feet of sound absorbing linings. Before flight testing the acoustically treated engines, 20 microphones were strategically placed along a runway. Vans housed the recording and test equipment. Because it was important to measure the exact distances between the microphones and the plane, radar tracked and precisely located the plane's position. In addition to the scientific measurements, these people gave their subjective reactions to the noise. All the tests were carried out under predefined weather conditions, and a meteorological station located in the center of the acoustic range made continuous weather measurements. Data was also taken over water, where atmospheric conditions were more stable. For the level flyby acoustic tests, the airplane was flown at 400 feet altitude at 160 knots. Sound is measured in decibels of perceived noise. Using the acoustically treated engines, the perceived noise was reduced by over 95%. Listen to the difference as first the plane with the untreated engines flies over. Now the acoustically treated plane. As expected, this noise reduction was not made without some penalties. For instance, there is an increase in total operating cost and a reduction in distance a plane can travel without being refueled. Efforts to reduce these and other penalties are continuing through additional research and development. Another engine noise modification program carried out by Boeing for NASA was the Sonic Throat Inlet Study. This diaphragm-like device built into a jet engine regulates the flow of air. For approach and landing, the minimum flow position. When noise suppression is not needed, such as at cruising altitudes, the maximum flow is used. Now let's see how effective it is. While these studies are going on to improve existing engines, the Lewis Research Center in Cleveland is trying to build a completely new engine, an engine designed to be quiet. Right now, they are testing various parts of jet engines to see which ones cause noise. Once they know this, a quieter engine can be built. Quieter jet engines, new designs tested in the next two years will make jet aircraft of the future much more tolerable.